I'm Ruben Lowe, CEO of Tauber Eco Hotel. These are the rooms that we built initially based on the, the history of the area. You'll see some domes and farmstead roofs, sort of symbolizing the common destiny of, of the people of South Africa in architecture as well. And right from the outset, we felt that part of the vision must be that, that we are eco. And we're very glad that we followed that route before it was fashionable to, to do so. Some of the reasons why we're quite interested in, in um, going into the new venture of, of a battery supply backup system for the resort is that, first of all, it fits in with our ethos as, a, as an eco-hotel. And we would like to set the benchmark for the industry in South Africa. And hopefully that will follow through right through Africa. And I think Africa is uniquely positioned for this type of technology. And secondly, the cost of diesel um, that's been fluctuating but whether the price goes up or down, that is a cost that, that we didn't really bargain for. Um, so over the lifespan of the, the red T flow batteries, which I believe is about 20 years, um, it'll most definitely offset it way before the, 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 they've reached their lifetime. So the economical things are, are very important for us. Um, South Africa has been plagued for the last couple of years with power outages and load shedding is what we call it here. And that has affected quite a lot of businesses. So it's important for us to be able to continue the business regardless. A lot of people trust us with uh, the most important days of their lives. And, and, and corporates come here to make very important decisions. So we need to make sure that we provide an environment where, where all the expectations are met or, or exceeded. So the technology that I've been speaking about is the, the new Red T Flow battery, uh, which is very, very exciting how it works, new technology um, capable of storing electricity, um, especially when we do have blackouts or load shedding in South Africa. And it makes a lot of sense because when that happens, the generators kick in, and we only use maybe 20 or 40 percent of the generator's capacity, when now the additional electricity that's generated will be stored in the batteries. So, I mean, that, that's just fantastic. 